All right, we are talking with Bob Noble Jr., driver of the steel number 13, 38 foot catamaran. It's been a great season so far for the uh, steel race team. JR, before we talk about the next race coming up, what is your opinion of the progress of the team so far this year? Well, Tony, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been an exciting year so far. We've uh, had three races beginning in Biloxi, uh, which is a uh, very flat, calm water, high speed race, and uh, we were very fortunate to edge out a win there. It's very close competition with WHM, but uh, at the end we pulled it out. And then we went on to uh, Cocoa Beach with entirely different conditions, rough water, and uh, we really didn't have the, the right setup for the boat. We didn't have the right props. And uh, we were running second, and at the end we got passed for third, so we came out of that just happy to survive. Did some uh, damage to the boat, but we got that fixed, and then uh, went on to Orange Beach, Alabama, which likewise was a very rough race. And uh, that was a two-race venue, uh, where you go out and race twice, and then they take the times and places and uh, points of each race, combine it to determine the winner. We got a third place overall, and uh, given the circumstance of having a mechanical issue in the first race, uh, the third place there was pretty good, but uh, we need to get back on the winning track here for our next venue. Well, I'm glad to hear that, and that's really what it's all about, is to have some exciting races for the fans. And speaking of that, you got Sarasota coming up, which is always a hugely popular venue for the fans in that area. Let's talk a little bit about that race coming up. You had some success there in the past. Let's talk about what your expectations are for Sarasota. Yeah, Sarasota we love. I mean, it's a whole week of festivities uh, with the boat race being the cap at the end. And uh, there's just a, there's a huge parade there. Friday night draws out uh, a huge crowd. I've never seen anything like it. Then they have a really uh, a nice venue there where they have a meet and greet for the drivers of the race boats with uh, some less fortunate children. So they come through and we uh, we give each child that comes through a hat, sometimes their dads, and uh, sign the hats and so forth. So it's a real nice uh, function and something that uh, we look forward to in Sarasota. And then the race itself is one of my favorite. Uh, it's a great course, I love driving it. Kind of combines some rough water usually on the outside, some calm water on the inside, some high speed turns. And uh, it's a very exciting uh, race and it draws a huge crowd, both from uh, the spectators on the beach, the hotels are all filled, the balconies, and then there's a host of boats, spectator boats. I mean, in some places you can walk across them. So, it draws a big crowd, it's very popular there, and I understand in talking to the uh, race officials that we have a pretty big boat uh, draw for this year with a lot of big boats. Uh, some that haven't even raced so far this year are coming out. and. Uh, but we're going to have the class to run in, and uh, it's going to be exciting. It's very, very competitive. Uh, anybody could win. Hopefully, we'll get some decent water, and uh, it'll be nice to not to bust everything up, including my back for a change. So yeah, I look forward to some uh, calmer waters than we've had in the last two races. For sure. Well, obviously, if it's anything like the races in the past, it's going to be very exciting, very competitive. Want to wish you the best of luck, the Steel Team. We know you're going to come out with a victory. Well, thanks, Tony. We're we're looking forward to it. We are steel, German engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at steelusa.com.